students today we are solving isim maths objective 2017 from question number 3 they've given a function which is an increasing function and there are some sequences provided and such that x n less than 0 less than y n in greater than 1 so we need to prove that f is continuous at 0 so this is continuously third question so let So n greater than zero. So there exists n zero such that n greater than equal to n zero. So now f of y n minus minus f of x n is less than epsilon. Now for such n, so if we just fix it up, n greater than equal to n zero. So we take maybe sigma, which is minimum of y n minus x n positive. So consider an arbitrary x if we take, which is minus delta to plus delta and x not equal to 0. And uh, if x is positive, uh, x greater than 0. So x n 0 less x less uh, delta less than equal to x, uh, sorry, y n. So now this will give you what? f of x less than equal to f of y n. And f of 0 is greater than equal to f of x n. And the modulus difference between these two if we take, uh, so that is equal to fx minus f0 which is less than equal to f of yn minus f of xn and which is less than f sign. So now if x less than 0 maybe, if x less than 0 then obviously xn less than equal to minus sigma less x less 0 less yn. So obviously fx greater than equal to f of xn is the first part and f of 0 less than equal to f of y. So obviously in this way if you just take up 2 together so mod of fx mod of f0 is equal to f0 minus fx uh, less than equal to f of yn minus f of xn less than epsilon. So in these two cases so in this case we can have mod of f of x minus mod of f of 0 so that is less than epsilon so as soon as mod x less than delta so f is obviously continuous at 0 hence proved this question is on ordinary differential equation do there exist functions p and q on 0 and 1 such that y t sin t square, t square is a solution to this structure for all so they also asked us to justify our answer so let's do this so let's assume that such functions exist let's say this exist so obviously y t equal to sine of t square is given so y dash t will be what 2t cos of t square y double dash t in order to form this so 4 so 2 cos t square minus 4 t square sine t square so in particular if we just do it so limit t tends to 0 y t equal to 0 limit t tends to 0 y dash t also equal to 0 limit t tends to 0 y double dash t will be equal to 2 okay so now we have all these values so all values of t from 0 to 1 if you take so y double dash t minus p t y dash, y prime t plus q t y t zero so for taking the limit if t tends to zero if we take so this is like two plus p of zero this is zero this is q of zero it becomes very easy now zero equal to zero okay which is impossible so this is actually giving us two equal to zero which is impossible so the function p and q does not exist so there is no function 